I'd um, do another video today about this little guy. He's um, he's an interesting one. I had fun making him. Um, I know there's a lot of dog lovers out there, so I just thought I'm getting a lot of views on how I make how or how I made stuff like the pirate. And this guy here seems to be quite popular with you guys where I put the photos here and just chat about how I did it. So I'm going to just do a, a quick one today um, on that. I'm going to move him out of the way a little bit. All right, you can just keep your eye in there. There you go. Because I need to put the photos here while I'm talking. Um, same setup as I normally do. I've got photos here and then I'll add them there when I've finished. Um, so okay, tin foil. We we all know about the tin foil. If you've seen the tin foil challenge, always start my sculptures with tin foil. So um, here we go. I'm just started to build some sort of head shape at the moment. Um, I I actually thought the pug would be really easy to do because it's quite a condensed dog. Not that easy to do, to be fair. So I've started off here. Um, then I've got. Um, some cardboard tubes from a printer that I've got and some tape and I'm just starting to build the leg structure around the back trying to get some sort of shape going um, as you can see here you can kind of see where I'm going it's got the elongated body sat down and head so yeah it's going all right I'm quite happy with that that's what it looked like from underneath pretty standard what I wanted so now you can see I've got him set up a um, couple more tubes for the legs perfect really works a treat um so i was quite happy with that structure i thought because he's quite they're quite chunky pugs aren't they they're quite big chunky dogs so um yeah i thought that was perfect so here this is it this is before i start going with clay i thought that worked out really well so you can see that the structure and the way it's sitting is going to make it really easy to get the clay on um, <laughs> so, well, it looks like a seal to me, but it was funny, but already there's some character coming in there. Um, you know the, the wavy bits of skin, the, where the skin all ruffles down on a pug? You'd think that'd be really easy to do, you just put loads of clay and then squash it down, but it wasn't actually. It's quite interesting how, how that how that skin falls in a certain way. I mean, obviously this is just my interpretation of a pug again. It's not supposed to look like a real pug. It's just supposed to look like a pug. Um, so yeah, I start um, putting on the the clay and it, you know, you can see the eyes are already talking to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you look at the eye expression, it's just something going on already. It's like it's a little life trying to come out, so. See, now, first off, I did this black, this, um, the black, like, I've got on here. And then I didn't like it. I thought it was too stark, so then I went back to all, all one colour. Um, see, I put the nose and stuff on in black as well, and it just seems such a massive difference in colour contrast. So, I carried on with it. I put some more bits on the top, um, but there's something niggling me about the massive contrast in colour. So I started to pull it all off, as you do, <laughs> or as I do. Um, yeah, I really went for it. I pulled it all off and um, look, I went all one colour, which I liked. I thought, yeah, that's much better. And then I was just going to put like a black nose and some other features, but he just seemed to lose a bit of character at this point. I was like, yeah, he's got character, but not as much character as he had with the black. So I carried on, but he seemed to lose more and more character. And I was getting a little bit like, should I have got rid of the black? Should I, or should I bring the black back? So I bought the black back um, and straight away, it just changed everything again. He, he kind of got, he got more character, his eyes became more lively. So in the end I thought, yeah, let's just stick with the black. And now you can see I'm starting to put features on. He's really starting to have some, something about him. 
he's starting to look a bit like he's, he, well, he looked to me like he's looking out the window, he was just enjoying himself. But he was certainly becoming a character. I mean, you can see. And you see now, um, I will be honest, when I made this one, I didn't take a massive amount of uh, photographs because it was supposed to be a relatively quick sculpture because I'd just finished doing Jack Sparrow. And um, I just wanted to do something a little easier, a little bit more flowy because Jack was a long haul, as you probably know from the video you've seen about him. So yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm putting like this fur effect on which is a long haul as well because it's just about getting a very fine um, one of these type things really fine and then just constantly doing that and there's a lot a lot of hair to do so yeah that's what I was doing just building I had a chat with a friend of mine and he said, oh, you know, it'd be really cool was if he uh, if he had, had his tongue sticking out. And at the time I was like, I'm definitely not doing that. But then I thought, maybe. And when I did it, I just fell around laughing. So I was like, yeah, that's staying. That's staying. So, um, yeah, I just carried on. Now you can see I've obviously done a lot more because, as I said, I didn't take so many photos of it. Um, yeah, so I just sort of like, again... Everything's chunky on the pug, so all the rolls of fat everywhere and just, they're just such a bulky dog. But um, it was interesting, though I kind of, I loved it one minute and then I wasn't so sure the next, but other people who'd seen it said that they loved it, so it kind of encouraged me to carry on with it really. But um, it was supposed to be a bit of fun, but actually as you look at the detail now, He's a he's he's a bit of a bit of a lad. He's a bit of a lad. So look, got it all going on. I mean the eyes are definitely like woo, you know. <laughs> so I seem to have created my own little dog here. He's like he's a, a, a little character. Um so yeah, and there and and this is this is it. I mean this is as far as I wanted to go with it because I just felt it ticked all the boxes, you know. It is a pug. It is what it is. Um, I liked it. I thought, after doing Jack Sparrow, I thought, I'm kind of happy with you as you are. I don't want to overwork you. I don't want to overwork the clay. I don't want to make it any more or any less than what it is. I just want it a simple little pug and there he is you know he's ready well he's just out the oven there actually but he's 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 a character isn't he he's just a little character um yeah and uh, he's he's i can't say any more on him really he's just a little character a fun a fun character to have around the house but um if you want to get him sculpting I mean, animals seem to be a, a good way in because they come to life really quick uh, and you can be a little bit like, you can do what you want. You don't, you know, I know everyone's like, oh, but it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that. It doesn't really matter because if you like it, then that's great, right? I like him. He's not accurate. I'm sure that, I'm sure there's loads of pug owners that would be like, what, what on earth is that? You know, but it doesn't matter because to me, he's a pug. He's my pug. I made him. And, and and I love him. So, um, yeah, just a couple of different shots of him, really, on different angles. But he's definitely got a character about him. And he, do he draws attention. So if I could just bring him to life and take him for a walk, I'd probably end up chatting to everyone. Um, and there he is on my, on my side at home. He doesn't look very big there, but he is big. I mean, I'll show you how big he is. Look at him, he's a beast. He's a real beast. Look at him. Ooh. He's he's proper heavy. Mm. <laughs> so, me and Mr. Pug, he loves me. Um he's my little pug. You know what? I don't have to walk him. 
don't have to feed him. He's just here all the time. Gives me a little bit of uh, company. So I hope you like this. Uh, this is probably what the shortest video that I've done. But I just thought I'd, I'd share with you a quick journey on Mr. Pug. Um, let me show you the back again as well. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him. Bless him. But I think I've kind of got the... I think I've got all the little... You know... <laughs> I think I've got him. I'll tell you what. He's so happy. He's almost the weight of a real pug. Aren't you? <laughs> so, I think I've got him. Um... Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This is just a really short one. I uh, just wanted to touch base with you all. Thank you all for watching my stuff on my channel. And I look forward to doing some more things with the dragon when the dragon clay comes. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Take it easy.